So, hi guys mga kapatid, no? Ako nga po pala si Kuya G. Ito po ang uh, numero ni G. So, part 2 na po tayo ng ating uh, requested lesson. No, uh, Poison Probability Distribution. In this lesson, mga kapatid, or in this video, ang pag-aaralan po natin is yung mismong formula na. So, therefore, ang mga magiging given lang dito ay yung value ng x na ito at yung mu or yung mean or the average. So, ang formula niya is P of x is equals to... Uh, Average to raised to the x power all over like all over the like, times e raised to the negative uh, mean all over x factorial. So yung value ng e dito is may constant na given na po siya is 2.71828. So this is ir irrational, no? And then uh, x is yung given uh, value. So let us now uh, proceed to our examples. So so number one, x is equals one, and then the mean is that is five. No, so uh, first we need to get the formula to write, and then next we need to change the value of x so that is one, and then uh, the value of mean that is five raised to x the value of x that is one, and then e raised to negative mean so the mean is five, and then all over one factorial. So since you have the one factorial here, no, so copy the same formula, e raised to the negative five all over one factorial is uh, equals 1. So, how can we solve this uh, 1? Itong nasa taas. Paano natin siya isosolve? So, ang magkakapag-solve niyan ay yung ating calculator. So, let's go, calculator. So, let uh, solve the uh, equation dun sa number 1. So, nakita nyo. So, 5 and then uh, raised to 1. So, raised to 1. Kapag magpipindot kayo ng raise or ng exponent, ito po yun. Ha? Ito po yung button. And then, pindutin mo yung letter E. Paano nga ba yung letter E sa aking calculator? Pindutin mo yung shift. Tapos, itong IN. No? Or LN pala. Sorry. E. And then, raise to negative 5. So, since syntax errors kapag uh, ni-raise mo sa negative 5. So, ang mangyayari, pindutin natin yung negative. Tapos, 5. So, this is the answer. So, that is 0 0.03369. Kasi nga, 4 digit ang kukunin natin. Since, um, yun yung ating sagot. So, i-divide pa natin siya sa 1 factorial. So, ganun pa din siya. Same answer pa din siya. So, back to you, Kuya G. So, maraming salamat, kaibigan calculator. So, ang sagot na nakuha na ni calculator ay 0 0.03369. All over 1. And then, after nyan, since sabi nga kanina, is uh, 4 digit lang. So, syempre, si, uh, 0 0.123. Make sure na yung pang-apat ay titignan mo yung kasunod kung roundable ba or hindi. So, that is, uh, since so, 3, 3, then that is 7. All over 1. So, 0 0.0337 divided by 1. So, that is the same. 0 0.3. 3, 7. So, this is our answer for our number 1. So, let us uh, proceed to our next. Number 2, mga kapatid. So, the value of x is 3 and then the value of mean or, or the average is 8. So, first, change the value of x that is uh, 3 and then the value of mean that is 8 and then the value of uh, x that is 3 and then e raised to negative mean. So, that is negative 8 all over the value of x that is 3 factorial. So, copy muna natin yung nasa taas kasi nga, unahin natin yung factorial sa baba. So, yung 3 factorial, ibig sabihin yan, 3 times 2 times 1. So, 8 raised to the third power, e raised to the negative 8, and then 3 times 2, that is 6, 6 times 1, that is 6. So, this is the answer. And then, kaibigan calculator, sagutin natin yung nasa Numerator so, sa number 2 naman mga kapatid, no? So, wag muna natin isosolve yung nasa baba, no? Yung nasa taas muna isolve natin. A, then shift, ay sorry, that is raised to the third power. And then, para makuha mo yung uh, letter E, shift, and then pindutin mo yung LN, letter E na siya, and then negative 8. So, the answer is 0 0.1718, kasi nga apat na digit po ang ating kukuhanin. So, back to you, Kuya G. So, salamat kay Bigan Calculator. So, ang nakuha niyang sagot ay 0 0.17175. Then, divided by 8 into 6. Since, syempre, titignan mo yung kasunod na number, that is 5. So, 0 0.1718. Then, divided by mo siya sa 
6. So after you divide the 0 0.1718 to 6, so that is 0 0.0286. 333 na kasi kasunod niya. So therefore, the value of this number 2 is 0 0.0286. So let us proceed now to the final problem. Let us proceed now to the number 3. So the number 3 is x equals 5 and then the mean is equal 16.5 so first change the value of x so that is 5 and then the value of uh, mean that is 16.5 raised to x so that is 5 and then e raised to the negative negative mean that is 16.5 and then all over the value of x factorial that is 5 factorial okay and then next, siyempre, kopya nyo lang po siya 16.5 raised to the 5th power. E raised to the negative 16.5. And then, so that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, siyempre, uh, 5 factorial is 120. Okay? So, that is 120. Ngayon, isasolve na po natin yung nasa taas. Ang makakasagot niya na tutulong sa atin ay si kaibigang Android phone gamit si CalQ. Tuturuan niya. Okay, yung, uh, yung problem number 3, ganito po natin siya isusulat. No? So, syempre, po, uh, gawa ka ng uh, parenthesis, then 16.5. Since nakita nyo naman po sa given kanina, is naka-raise po siya, ibig sabihin exponent. Kapag po exponent ang pipindutin nyo, pindutin nyo po muna itong arrow pataas. And then, uh, raise to 5. And then, pindutin nyo po yung letter E. Since naka-raise po ulit, pipindutin nyo po ulit yung exponent sign. And then, you need to uh, put negative sign since that is negative 16.5 so you have the answer now now so your answer is 0 0.08347 so nagdagan natin siya ng isa kasi 4 digit lang po ang kukunin natin so that is 0 0.03 no uh, 4 0 0.08348 go back to you kuya G so salamat kay bigang uh, android phone so ito ang nakuha niyang sagot 0 0.08 347 um, divided by 120 and then next after that no so pasensya niyo na medyo hindi na tama no and then i divide mo 0. Point, uh and dito pa pala so i low an natin siya i round off no so for ang katabi niya ay 7 so this is uh, this is roundable so that is 5 all over 120 and then divide that 2 no so i divide natin yung uh, dalawa na yan so that is 0 0.006957. So this is our answer. So yeah, so marami.